blast these wings. They lift me up into the sky and yet they downheart me with my love. I have to tell her someday. These wings have blanketed her, but they won't keep me from her. I promise that. Hmm, mm -hmm. Marzi. Mar 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 is that short for Marzipan? No, it is short for Marianne. <laughs> marzipan kind of reminds me of a hummingbird. Well, marzipan is actually a type of fondant, but it kind of does remind me of a hummingbird once one mentions it. <laughs> I like hummingbirds. They're cute. You're going to make a great friend. I sort of feel kind of lonely these days. How so? You have Skylar and all of us. That's, That's true, true, although, although I, I wish I had someone a little closer to me. I tried, I tried so, so hard so and got so far, but everyone seems to reject me. I'm gonna die alone. <laughs> although I do realize that, even if I do find someone to marry and be with, I'm not gonna be with them forever. How so? I'm immortal. What if my true love isn't, and I'd have to leave them? My. The burden of immortality. In the meantime, we can be lonely together. All right, I have to tell her tonight. Marzi, I love you more than anything in the world, and you're one of the greatest people I've ever met. But I don't think I can live with the thought that you, the first woman that I've ever loved, will die whilst I remain in this world. I know how much you treasure your friends, and I can't take that away from you with immortality. So that's why I want to become mortal. She'll never believe me, but I need to try. Hello, my queen. Kay, blessed be. Crimson, may we speak for a while? Of course. What's troubling you? I can sense your consternation. Immortality. I see. What is this karma? I never asked for it. Why did it have to be me? Kay, it is a noble privilege to be what you are. You're one in a million. It is not a privilege if I am going to suffer. You can accomplish great things if you just believe in the goodness of the universe. You can carry things through generations. You will live to see the world change and grow. I am going to live to see the world burn. I will be there on Judgment Day. I will feel the climate change, and I will be forced to endure the deaths of my friends, my family, our family, and everyone I've ever known and loved. And it is certain that no amount of virtue or victory could overcome that. Most importantly, though, it'll take me away from Marzi my own wife, and anyone else I'll ever love. I'm sorry, dear. Which is why I beseech you, if such spell can do so, please make me mortal. Such spell can, but I can't. What do you mean you can't? You're the greatest mage in this entire kingdom. There isn't a single spell you can't perform. I've noticed that sometimes spells go wrong and is where the casualties occur. You could get seriously injured, my dear Kanyanta, and I'm not willing to risk being the cause of it. And what would that casualty be? The radiation of the magic is almost cancerous, and if any distractions were made, the aftershocks are enough to make the land shake. Yes, but I assure you that won't happen. If you're willing to take the risk of decapitation, then I'm not willing to take the risk of hurting you. Please, I trust you. I have faith that you will prevail in this. And if I were to fault, if even by accident, I would have betrayed your trust. I could not live with such guilt. There is no such heart in my breast to let this repentance slide. My care for you is all too much. I'd rather the injuries than to be condemned to an eternal future. You don't know how it feels, Crimson. You don't know how it's going to feel to lose her. You don't know how it feels to lose a love. I do. You couldn't simply. 
20 years ago, I had a love. I wanted to make her my wife until one day she left. Based on our final exchange of words, it was indeed for self-sanctuary. Admittedly, I have married centurions since, but we rarely encounter. With the Crusades and other battles keeping him alert, he's not often home with us. Do you not feel a bit on edge? Like one day he just doesn't return? Like something goes wrong for him in battle? I do, but I have hope that he will at least see another day with us. Like I will see another day with you once this spell is cast. Why can't you have hope in me as well? You won't kill me, I promise. And I do have hope in you, Kanyanta. I will not let you experience the pain I endure. Sign a contract with me. I will fulfill your one true desire. Dear Marzi, it has been three days since I last made contact with you, and for that I do apologize for my cowardice since our last interaction. Crimson made the decision to escort me to the catacombs in order to perform the spell, so I'm writing to you from here. She is going to make me mortal. I know the truth is a bitter pill to swallow, but I promise it will make everything better. I know how much you detest my opinion, but I've made my final decision. Remember, I'm not doing this for myself. I'm doing this for us and our friends. I promise it'll be worth it. If it's not, all I wish is for you to know the truth. I love you, and you'll always be my dearest. I hope this letter finds you well, wherever you may be since we last spoke. Sincerely, Kanyanta. Dear Kanyanta, as I am to you, you will always be my dearest partner of greatness. I wholeheartedly respect your decision of mortality. I realize how noble of a choice it was for you to do this for ourselves and our friends. It only took me some time and I know that it shouldn't have. Thank you for writing back to me. I couldn't conjure up the courage to even speak with you after the note I had left things on with you. I hope the spell goes well and I await your return. Sincerely, Marcy. Don't look at me like that. I promise that if I had the time to empathise and see both sides, I wouldn't have resisted your desire. I should have had the time to empathise. There's always time to empathise. I was just... ignorant. Greetings, my lady. Kay! Care to join me? I always do. What brings you here? I actually had something I need to discuss with you. Oh no. Be not afraid. You're not in trouble. Marzi, I love you more than anything in the world. I think of you with such greatness, but I just can't bear the thought that I'd have to live. Or you'd have to die. I can't find the right words, just give me a sec. I can sense your apprehension. You said there was no need to fear. Yes, you're right. There isn't. How is the feeling of outliving everyone you once loved not something to be apprehended by? What? You once said that if you ever found love, you'd have to outlive them. Ever since you confessed your love to me, you've always seemed so unnerved by the subject of immortality itself. Are you afraid of loss? I guess I am. What I most dread is that you, the woman I truly love, will die whilst I remain in this world for eternity. 
I refuse to end our relationship as much as I refuse to take you away from everything in this generation by forcing you into this immortal coil. I know how much you treasure your friends. My lord, what is it you're trying to say? I want to become mortal. I don't want to outlive you. How do you plan on shuffling off the immortality? My sister spoke of spells like these before. I know it will be painful. It may put you through more pain than your immortality is even causing. Marzi, please, I assure you, it will be worth it. I know this knowledge of my immortality creates a sanctuary for you, but for me, it's the threat itself. I promise you, you will still be in my full protection despite this lack of emotional security. There will always be a way for the legacy of new equivalents to be preserved without my immortality. I promise. I'm sorry, but I object to this proposal. And I'm sorry that I ever objected and retaliated against your own pure-hearted desires. Would you ever forgive me, my lord? Of course, my dearest. You came back. I mean, I knew you would, but you're all right. Notice anything different? Should I? I now walk the same pages as you. You are no longer just a fraction of my eternity. I am no longer condemned to my perpetuity. Why do you make my heart flutter? Because you make my heart want to jump. You are exhausted. Was it painful? Only a tingling sensation for a few seconds, but other than that, all went well. Blessed be. Although, I will admit, I am fatigued. Then let us retire to our chamber. Allow me to be your escort. For once. Thank you, my dear. No problem, my dearest.